Is Trayvon James about to be a crypto millionaire? He might even be a crypto multimillionaire. I've got to show you something that was mind-blowing recently. I came across some information shortly after I did this video. I talked about Trayvon James getting banned from YouTube. Came across some information. It blew my mind. Now listen, let me tell you something. Anyone can brag about making X amount of dollars a day. In crypto, it's... Look, the month of February alone, I did a video where I talked about earning... I went from 5000 to 20000 I'll link that video above. I'll put it down in the description. You can go watch that video. But anybody can say, hey, look at this. Let me give you an example. So Trayvon James did a video today on Library, and he talked about on Odyssey, also known as Library. So Odyssey operates on the Library blockchain. The token for that blockchain is called the LBC token. So you'll hear me use the word Library and Odyssey interchangeably. But he did a video today talking about, oh, I'm making X amount of dollars, and anybody can earn something for a short time. Like in crypto, you get in early on a project, it can do well. But the key is, it ain't real until you put it into some sort of HODL account. Until you withdraw it into Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever one of your long-term holdings are. I recently discovered one of Trevon James's long-term holdings, and it blew my mind. It blew, and led me to believe that he's either a crypto millionaire now, he's a, he could be a crypto multimillionaire right now, certifiably i believe in the next few years based on the information i saw 100 percent definitely be a crypto millionaire and like as in the next three to five years maybe so here's the, here's the question a little quick backstory so youtube got started first video hosting platform online it got started february 2005 by these three guys here paypal employees chad hurley stephen chen and jawad kim now i'm not smart enough to be those three guys i don't think trevon is smart enough to be those three guys but we don't need to be check this out February 2005, they started it. November 2006, $1.6 billion they sold it for. Could you imagine starting a business and then selling it for 18 months later for $1.65 billion? That would be extraordinary, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what does this have to do with Trevon James? Just bear with me. So in 2006, YouTube was worth $1.65 billion. YouTube's currently estimated to have $15 billion in annual revenues. Now, a very simple way to, to value a business is one year of annual revenues. Some businesses are 1, 1 1.5, 1.2, 2, or 3 years of annual revenues. YouTube, let's just say that it's valued at, one point, or at $15 billion today. $15 billion. It's grown by, you know... 10x essentially since 2016 since 2006 the odyssey platform which is the best decentralized version of youtube is growing they operate on the library chat the library blockchain they use the lbc token question is in this day and age where more and more people are talking about censorship more and more people are looking for decentralization among media here's the question can odyssey could they ever pull 10%, could they at least grow to be 10% the size of YouTube ever? Like, is that possible at any point in time? Let's take a look at something. Right now, they're only valued on coin market cap at $111 million. So is it possible that it could 10X? The price is currently 20 cents. Now, again, bear with me because Trayvon James holds LBC tokens. You're not going to believe what I recently found out. But right now, let's just, in fact, let's just go ahead and get to that. In this video, right here, he was talking about LBC price setting up for a big move. And when he said that, I looked up here and I just happened to catch 657,000 LBC tokens. Now, there's a little bit of a lesson to be learned here. Some of you aren't going to like this, but this guy has not sold these tokens. I know for a fact he was buying tokens at as low as one cent, two cent, and lower. Right at this very moment, they're selling for 20 cents. The low just a few months ago, just a few months ago, literally, the all-time low, was 0 .004 March 16th, 2020. That's crazy to think about. This thing was selling at less than half a penny. Crazy. And I know that he held through all of that. So to hold through all of that, now, even now he hasn't sold. 600 and 57,000 LBCs for 20 cents. Now, what is that at right now? Does that make him a millionaire? No. 657,000 times current price of 20 cents. My man is holding an LBC bag worth $131,000. So the reason that I said, do you think a decentralized platform, we're not talking about a rumble or one of those things. We're not talking about, I had somebody reach out to me recently. They wanted to uh, do a sponsored video on my channel. I'm still asking them questions, but I feel like they're dodging my main question. My main question is, is your content hosted in a way that is decentralized? They keep talking about a blockchain. Anybody can have a token. Anyone can have a blockchain, but is your content hosted in a way that is truly decentralized and cannot be taken down, removed, or censored. Library, 
Odyssey, one and the same, that's how their platform works. Here's the key. Can a decentralized platform even get to 10% the size of YouTube? Because if it can, that's that's a market cap of 1.5 billion. That's more than a 10X. If this thing 10X and Trayvon doesn't sell, he's going to be worth $1.3 million just in LBC token. Like that's absolutely insane. The height of LBC was 1.60. That's not even a 10X. 1.60. Again, that's uh, that's not even a 10X because 10X would be $2. So 657000 times 1.60. That's just saying it gets to its all-time high. Trayvon will be worth $1 million in LBC tokens. So there's an interesting lesson here. The reason I wanted to point this out is because and anybody can you know, talk about making a lot of money. Last month, I ended up turning $5,000 into $20,000 before losing $16,000. Unrelated, two totally unrelated things that happened. But the full story is I ended up losing $16,000. Did I still make a profit? Sure. But I was able to take $5,000 to $20,000. That sort of thing can only happen in crypto. I mean, a year ago, you could have bought these things for 0 .004. It's one thing to say you you made something. I mean, heck, you know, I put up a video yesterday. I posted this video here on library earning $150 a day. Am I making $150 a day according to this video and what I showed in this video? Yeah. Was that legit? A hundred percent. In fact, it's better than that because this video plus this video plus this project right here, the last video uploaded inside of our members area with all three of those projects combined and they're all three essentially clones of one another all three of those projects combined i'm probably doing about 350 dollars a day now that sounds exciting it gets a click on youtube but the reality is that's going to drop that's not going to stay that way can the overall earnings be good yes but am I going to earn $300 a day for the rest of my life am i going to be able to compound it to three thousand three million dollars a day no never but to be able to hold a crypto asset in a hodl bag, and clearly he believes, I mean, this video was price is setting up for a big move. He obviously believes there's a lot of upside potential. He's holding a lot of these tokens. We're not even considering the fact that he's still earning tokens on the platform. He still has people paying him tokens. He still charges for content on the platform, which gets paid in LBC tokens. We're not even talking about that. Just assuming this bag alone, that he may end up with, you know, 700,000, 800,000, a million LBCs. Knowing Trayvon, hearing him talk on some of his channels, he said he plays games with himself all the time. He's like, let's get to 700,000. Then he's like, you know what? I'm going to keep holding. I want to get to a million. Here's what's interesting. He does not sell out of every single project that he's in. There are times that he chooses just to sit and hold, no matter how much it gains, because at, on some level, he believes crypto has an extraordinary future. I, I got to say this. I know this guy has haters. But I, when I saw this number here, knowing how much this went, I sold, I sold, I had 5,000 BTC. I mean, I'm sorry. I had 5,000 LBC. I sold them things. They went up to like 10 cents, 12 cents. I sold them all day long. Now I'm sitting here on, on 4,000 and something. I'm thinking, you know what? I don't think I'm going to sell anymore. And particularly when I made this video, because I do believe that it's possible. I do believe that it's possible that Odyssey could hit 10X. By the way, not financial advice. I'm a loser YouTuber. Don't follow me. I'll get you wrecked. Lord have mercy. Worst thing you can do is take advice from an amateur YouTuber who's going to help you lose money. Don't do that. Personally, it may be the wrong decision. This thing may go back down to 0 0.004, but I'm going to hold it. And I think it's possible. My amateur opinion is it's possible. Trayvon James is going to be an LBC millionaire. Now, it also makes me wonder, I wonder what else he's holding. I mean, this guy's lost exorbitant money. First of all, I mean, he, <laughs> this is the guy who had several BTC get hacked from a wallet because he stored his private keys in email. Don't store your private keys in your email for God's sake. Yet he's rebuilt at least his LBC stack to crazy numbers. It makes you wonder like what else is he sitting on? How many people in the world are holding something like LBC thinking it's going to go to the moon? Let me know down in the comments. I think I'll make a poll about that. Is Trayvon James, do you think Trayvon James is a crypto multimillionaire? Do you think he's a millionaire? Do you think he's going to be a crypto millionaire? Or do you think he's crypto bust? We'll just call it that. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for watching. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is crypto wealth. I'm out. Oh, yeah. One last thing. I got a video coming up. XRP. Holy crap, the SEC lawsuit continues to fall apart.
you got to be on the lookout for this video. Video is going to be coming up soon. Take care.